All right, good afternoon. This is Lewis from Sevens Garage in Saxe, Texas. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to install the snaps on a boot. Uh, we have here a 57 Bel Air convertible that I restored. Uh, ordered the boot from Ciadella. Uh, the good thing is that it doesn't have the snaps in it. So most times when the boots come with snaps, they tend to wrinkle up around the edge. Uh, so in this case, we're actually going to follow every snap and we're going to mark it. And I'll show you how to use a tool and how to install snaps. Um, I've already done two over here on this side. First one there and then one down here. And what you want to do is start on one side and just kind of work your way. That way you can have an even, even uh, boot all the way around. What you want to do first is get the first one down. I did this one and that one. Get the first one down. And then kind of tug it a little bit, see where it is. And then just with a Sharpie, mark your spot. What we have here, we have the buttons. We have 26. There's 24 on the 57 Bel Air boot. They send you two extras just for practice, which is good. This is the tool you're going to use. It's the setter. And this one has it's like a domed head on the end of it to roll that, the, uh, the eyelet. And then you have your anvil. And the anvil is flat on this side and you see that it's got a little indentation that's where uh, let me find one right here the back side of it the cap will sit on that dome like that and then your actual stud or your, your snap will slip right in there what you do is you do that and then just kind of hammer it down but obviously you need your your boot so what we have here is what you want to do first is where you've marked your spot, get your awl. And let me see if I can do this with one hand. No, I can't. Let me turn it off and I'll I've come already right. ran the awl all the way through. So that's what you want there. Pull it out. Stick button head to the top side. Come out through the bottom. Put this top over and we're going to rest the cap right on the little anvil like so. Just snap right over that. You see it kind of sticks out a little bit and you put your setter and just give this a few whacks until that uh, pin rolls There's over. one right there already rolled. You should be able to lightly turn it. And there you go. That's how you do your snaps. So we have uh, 22 more to go. So I have this side done already. The passenger side. It's all done. Now I'm going to work my way from the driver's side. Get all these in. And then work down the middle. I did one uh, wrong. So if you notice that one there. I left out the snap. Uh, I'm just going to show you if you do end up doing that by accident like I did you just basically that brass lip you're just going to drill it out and try to do this with two hands once you've kind of bored out the head a little bit you just pop it right back out and then you just carry on we're at so far I've got the passenger side done got the driver's side done and then I did the two center ones right up at the top. So then here's when you're going to start really working for it. Because you're going to start, it's going to get real tight around these corners. Uh, probably best to maybe do it outside. Or leave the top outside for a little bit so it can warm up and stretch. Another thing too that's important is make sure that your rack is fully down. Uh, sometimes these racks will stay up a little bit. So that's going to make it a little bit harder. So remember, just make sure your rack is all the way about down. About done with the boot. I'm going to leave it out here in the sun for about 30 minutes or so to get these uh, corners nice and flexible. Uh, let the material stretch out for a little bit, and then we'll do the last two snaps. Right. So there we have it, uh, the finished boot. With time, the material on the boot's going to stretch a little bit, and this lip right here will just flatten itself back out. Um, all that's left now is just to kind of tuck that bead all the way on the back of the seat. But there you go, 57 Bel Air boot installation. 
Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give us a follow. Facebook backslash Seven's Garage. Thanks again.